looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Sean Strickland. And now introducing the champion, fighting. Out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This might be fair. Ready. the separation now. Oh, huge block! And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Really timing his shots nice. 
nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Got clipped with the right hand. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the woods with those leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Adesanya. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Look is there again. Oh, big punch land. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. When you walk out to the entrance, when he's in the octagon, the fighting style, he just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. Good takedown defense by Israel. Ooh. And now he's got that tight clinch. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, collar tie. Shot is blocked there by Adesanya. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Signifying the end of the round, a stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Soda, it's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to take that finish down now. He's out! Holy smokes! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee heard James going to stop this contest at 48 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still. King of the 185 pounders, there he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout.